here we have 6.7 solving an equation using the odd property uh, problem type 2. So we do want to get rid of the odd exponent, but in order for us to do that, that um, expression with the exponent in it does need to be by itself. So I do need to move the 81 over to the other side so that it can um, have that expression alone. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 81 to both sides so that positive 81 will undo this negative 81, leaving me with this expression on the left-hand side. And then 0 plus 81 is just a positive 81 on the right-hand side. Now when I take the cube root on both sides, um, the cube and the cube root will cancel, leaving me with what was inside the parentheses. And the cube root of 81, um, cube root of 81, oops, I am doing a whole bunch of weird stuff. So cube root of 81 is not a nice number. So I am going to have to do this in pieces. So 81 is 9 times 9, which is 3 times 3 and 3 times 3. So we need three of them together for one to come out, but I will still have this one left inside. So the cube root of 81 becomes three times the cube root of three. And I've still not done solving for y though. I still have to actually subtract four over and I get y equals, now there's two ways to write this, okay? I can write it as 3 cube root of 3 minus 4, or I could write it as a negative 4 and then plus this positive 3 cube root of 3. The only reason I'm showing you both is because a lot of times in math, the formal way to write it is to have the term of the square root in on the right-hand side, okay? And so then this is usually the more way to write it um, just so that you don't get confused and think that that 4 is underneath the house because it's not. So as long as you're typing this in Alex and you're not putting the 4 inside the house, the little house stops and you hit the arrow to get out of the house and then you hit minus 4, you're perfectly okay to enter this as your answer. Okay. Um, but normally with math, they always write them like this so that we don't get confused with anything else being in the house with that three. Um, now, why did I not just say the answer is negative one? Why didn't I do three minus four and get negative one and bring down the cube root of three? These two things are not like terms. This uh, coefficient is being multiplied by something and this coefficient is not. So you cannot combine two things when they are not like terms. So you can box this or you can box this. They are both equivalent. As long as you keep the same sign on each one. Now here I'm gonna do the same thing. I've gotta isolate this cube root, ex this cube expression. So I'm gonna minus 56 on both sides. And then we get this cubed expression by itself and then a negative 56 on the right hand side. We're going to take the cube root of both sides. So then that goes away. I get what is in the parentheses. And 56, I'm pretty sure, is not a perfect cube. So let's go see what 56. I know the negative is going to come out as a negative number, but I don't know how this 56 is going to work. So 56 divided by 2 is 28. 28 divided by 2 is 14, 14 divided by two is seven. So I do have a group of three. So those will come out, but then I still have this seven left over inside that cube root. Um, and then now I can completely finish solving for x by minusing three on both sides. And then again, these are not like terms, so I cannot put them together. You could put the negative 3 and then the negative like this. This is the more formal answer. Or you could have um, left the negative 2 cube root of 3, cube root of 7, um, and then put the minus 3 off to the side. Just be careful not to put this minus 3 inside the house. It does not belong inside the house.
other than that we are done